Hello there, welcome to another episode of the Allotment Dram. This is a series of short videos where we sit and talk about different whiskies in the surroundings of our North London allotment. And you join me here today on another lovely afternoon, pretty warm again, you know, 25, 26 degrees here in London. And, uh, you know, I've been getting a few jobs done, and mostly weeding, sadly. Um, you know, everything's growing, including the weeds, and they're almost out of hand, but I'm, I'm trying to keep on top of it. So. Uh, that, that's my main job over the next sort of uh, couple of weeks I think to try and keep on top of that but um, while that's all very interesting you know I am here to talk about the allotment dram uh, what is the whiskey that I've chosen today uh, I hear you ask well it's a multi award winning whiskey and uh, you know fine one at that tried it a very long time ago but uh, not not very much recently actually and it's the Tom and Towel 16. So this is from uh, the Tom and Tao distillery. This was uh, founded in 1964 in the Livick Glen in the mid middle of Speyside. It's named after Tom and Tao, which is actually the highest village in the highlands of Scotland. Uh, it's based next to the uh, Ballatruan Spring, and this is the water source for the distillery. That's basically why the distillery was built there. And uh, this has been in fact, the whole Tom and Tao range is put together by a gentleman called Robert Fleming, and he's the master distiller uh, at Tom and Tao, and ha has been for over 30 years now. He actually started working there in 1990, and uh, has worked in the industry before that since the mid 1970s. So he, he's actually a fourth generation whiskey maker, and is actually born in the Livick Glen as well. Uh, so you know, very local very passionate about uh, Tom and Tom and Tell. As I say, built in the mid 1960s uh, and still, you know, wins a lot of awards, uh, but still to the wider public, you know, maybe not quite as well known as it deserves to, to, to be. Uh, so what can I tell you about um, this particular uh, 16 year old? Well, this sits in the core range. It's quite a big core range, a mix of, uh, some no age statement and age statement whiskies um, and covering you know quite a lot of things you know there's some sherry cast ones there's a couple of uh, peated ones which they they do a peated spirit from time to time there but uh, what the distillery is predominantly known for is its use of the old bourbon casks and this is what's going on here in the 16 so uh, this is 100 percent ex bourbon uh, cast is made from American white oak and uh, this is bottled at 40% and as I say it's won a lot of awards so it just seems amazing that it's actually the price that it is I mean for a 16 year old whiskey to be 40 to 45 pounds depends where you shop it is in, in this sort of current market is you know surprising it, it's on the very 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 good sides uh, I mean to put it out into context most 15 or 16 year olds are now probably in the 55 to 60 to 65 pound range so you know you're getting good good value for your for your cash here but um, I think uh, you know that, that's probably enough chat so I think we should have a have a taste actually this is Tom and Tull, um also known as the gentle dram uh, so we've just got our bottle and uh, so I'm just going to crack it open for you here and uh, we'll have a chat about what we what we find okay good sound we always like that sound as you know regular viewers will know and there we go just pour that and then we just pop the bottle down as you also know we always put the lid back on and you only ever spill a bottle of whiskey once having not put the lid back on before you never do it again so let's uh, have a smell of this as I say 40% so leaping out of the glass actually wow that's uh, that's delicious you know, very enticing there's lots of sort of honey and fudge maybe vanilla fudge a pinch of these sort of baking spices cinnamon allspice that type of thing but then there's a bit of um, 
It's like a sort of sweet brioche type of bread, something like that. Just a slight nuttiness as well. There's like a hint of like praline, hazelnut praline and maybe some cocoa powder or milk chocolate, something like that. But let's have a taste. really makes me smile it's it's got such a creamy soft you can see why it's called the gentle dram uh, Tom and Tell it's, yeah, it's got such a this creamy soft nature to it a little bit of like it's like a baked apple under there but uh, then you've got this sort of honey vanilla fudge it's brioche bread maybe Danish pastry something like that sort of underneath but then also a little bit of I'm just getting it now this sort of nutty like the hazelnut or maybe a bit of almond you know so a mix of this hazelnut praline and almond like marzipan something like that yeah really delicious and um, let's have another taste I think we need to Yeah, as I say, it's hard not to smile because it's just, it's such an enjoyable, enjoyable whiskey. Um, it's now got a little bit of, a bit more of this, there was a bit of cocoa or chocolate. It's maybe white chocolate, more than milk chocolate. This is cocoa powder gives it, it's almost like a mocha, cocoa, coffee sort of note, right underneath as well. And then this, Right at the last minute, there's like a zesty, it's like a bit of fresh lemon zest sort of in there too. So, yeah, absolutely delicious. This runny honey and vanilla fudge running all the way through it. Just, you know, coming from these lovely, obviously good quality ex-bourbon casts in this American white oak. So, yeah, a bit of a stunner. And especially when you consider well, you can see why it's won a lot of awards, you know, sort of worldwide as well. And it's held in high regard by, you know, people in the know, whiskey drinkers in the know, you know highly regarded distillery. But, um, you know, especially good when you consider this very competitive price, you know, 40 to 45 pounds, as I say, in most places. So, yeah, delicious whiskey. And, and you know, if you wanted to show somebody a classic Speyside style, then something like this would be exactly the thing to show them. You know, it has this softness, it has this gentleness, it has that, as I say, that sort of baked apple, but then this lovely sweetness and softness and gentleness. So yeah, absolutely delicious whiskey. So I think that's about it from myself and the Tom and Tal 16. We will bid you farewell. Get on a little, a little bit more of that damn weeding uh, before I head home and uh, as I said thanks for watching and we hope to see you again very very soon for the next allotment dram. Cheers!